and if Samira can get in the back line really quick with her dashes and ult with an Ornal behind her, then she's definitely doing a lot of damage. But that's a Jax last pick into the Orn. So Broken Blade being Broken Blade, going for his side laners, going for split pushing, scaling on the side lane. And I think Schalke's comp is a little bit all over the place when you first look at it, but you have Prior mid, you have a Galley ult for Jax on a side lane, and you have Kaisa Lydia just for the team fights, basically. So it's a bit mix and match, the Schalke comp. I'm not a huge, huge fan compared to the side of Fnatic who have the Globals to shut down the split push, and they have really hard engage to shut down the Kaisa in mid. So and, uh, just a small, interesting thing, Lydia going Raptors to Krugs to get the double respawn faster. And it does make it so the red buffs easier, obviously, limit. It's not a sense. Let's get traded on a bit. Has to use the Aftershock. I think that does favor Schalke a little bit more. And like we said, I think Broken Blade is the win condition in this comp. He's really good against the TF. Big but, uh, trade. Lots of trading going on the map. Just going back to my point, I think Jax is really good against TF because you can dodge the stun card. Stage. So. Yeah, it's just an interesting stat, really. It's only two games, really. But I think the fact that Broken Blade as a player is a high resource carry top laner, we know that. We've seen that over in TSM. So it's interesting that the jungle proximity is so low for him. But now that he's playing the Jax, Gilius did. Fnatic have the tools to use the global of the TF. It's a bit hard to go up to the top side, but bot lane is probably where they're looking, unless they can. Get the Jaxi out and go for the all-in. Now the knock-up, Whipple continuing to extend here, empowered auto, Niski on the way in, already burned the Counter-Strike, can't block that. First blood coming through, Broken Blade, over-aggressive there on extending that trade. Yeah, way too aggressive, it looks like Fnatic's gonna do the Drake as well, so they're gonna win out on top side, they're gonna win out on bot side as well, so that's a huge play for the side of Fnatic. All Gilius can really do is just look to clear his top camps. And not being too aware of where TF was when he went to the aggressive trade with the E, but Fnatic, well, I'm gonna start up this Herald. Neon's moving his way up from the bot side river, and it looks like it could turn into a 5v5, but Upset needs to catch the wave. So the longer this fight goes on, the better it is for Shalka. Now Destiny for the TF, more to know, but that's going to be one sleepy Blippo. Is unstoppable for now, he's going to flash out to safety. Taunt now down for limit. He is only level 5, but Hillisang is now in trouble. Ooh. Big face Neon's breaker there. there. Big shield going to keep him alive. Neon looking for an opportunity to come in. There's the calling. Niski more than happy to body block. Both sides sort of backing off here. So Shalka's going to lose a bot wave now. Neon did rotate into the mid. And there's no TPs to catch his bot wave. So if they don't start the Herald, well, they, they know he's doing this most likely. Um, but he knows that Shalker is really can't contest it. They're completely out of tempo. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's one of the big differences that um, we look at here. But they're looking on Niski, who has no flash. Limit doesn't have to flash either. But they have the Kai's ultimate if they want to go for this. Oh, it's going to connect. Trying to find the follow up. Niski will just damage. walk away. Yeah, just going back to my point, I think Gilius has immediately opted for the Zanyas. Obviously, a lot of AD on this team, all things considered, but not having any boots of lucidity, not building towards any piece of Leandri's or any other mythic item quite yet, probably does cost him a decent amount in terms of overall clear speed, as Fnatic right now are just grabbing this Drake uncontested and on vision. Yeah, if you looked what Selfmade did there, if anyone's trying to become a pressure jungle or anything, just look at what Selfmade did there. He went with Hillisang and Selfmade playing together. Selfmade's always playing with someone. He's playing with Niski, he's playing with the bot lane, he's playing with his support, whereas Gilius and Limit seem off sync. Gilius on his Krugs, Limit's trying to contest bot side vision, and this is what happens. Pull back, suppress, limit now running for the hills. Aftershock still procs. He's got a few more moments. Big Haymaker, the follow up is going to connect. My god, perfectly aimed there from Selfmade. Just barely getting it to pop on the end. And now this affects Neon. Neon loses his tower. He can't really catch the wave. This is. Hey, no, I'm just. How, <laughs> I'm just so surprised to see a turnaround across three days, across three now single games to see such a shift from Fnatic. Although for Niski, he's going to be in trouble. Close. 50 more range on that calling, and Abadagi might have been able to you now setting up that vision. So fewer and fewer camps are easy picking for Gilius. He can't just sit in power farm anymore. And for Neon, he might just be in trouble. The pullback is just going to dunk him down. The immediate gold card follow-up, all too easy. Cleanse not going to work out for Neon, trying to dash to safety. But here comes Upset, not even going to need to use the ultimate. Doesn't even have enough style points to do it, but it's not going to matter. He's going to grab the kill. Yep, good play there from the side of Fnatic. Niski identifying that Neon was a little bit too far up and Hillisang was on the way. So good punish. I like the flash engage from the side of Hillisang, just making sure they get that done. I'm surprised Niski went for the, the gold card. I mean, Neon did have the cleanse. I think something like a red card or a blue card for more damage. Could have been fine there. That's one of the only cases where a blue or red card <laughs> could have been fine. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I mean, it works out. An overall very clean play. And we're very quickly approaching that Samira Nightmare Threshold. She already has the Immortal Shield bow, but once she gets the Collector too, this is going to be a very difficult champion to shut down in fights. And at this stage, I don't even think Shalka really want to be forcing larger scale fights against the lineup of Fnatic. They need Broken Blade to get a few more items under his belt. Yeah, dragons. Yeah. Eventually you're forced to fight them. And if you're playing a non-team fight comp and you're forced to fight Drake, the game kind of falls apart. Yeah, fantastic point. And it's even harder when you're already falling behind in this game. You know, in order to really successfully pull off that 1-3-1, you need a winning side lane. And yeah, okay, Jax beats Orange, sure, but if the Orange starts getting, you know, 2k, 3k ahead, 
It's a very different story. So now Fnatic get their third Drake. This one could be contested by Shaka. They're just going to give it up. Shaka don't even want to take this fight, but they will have to fight for the next one. Exactly. And you can see Southway did the exact same thing as he did with the first Herald. Herald mid pushing the wave. I mean, the way they've drafted, they need to start pushing these solo layers ahead. Their solo layers are a little bit ahead. You know, 20 CS lead on both of them, but it's just not enough so far because the global gold and the neutral objective tonight is picking up here. I think Gilius is keeping oh. forward. Zonias. They're gonna get Galio on as well as the Zonius. Gilly still looks like he's gonna drop Ooh. again. Self-made from downtown finding that one. Big fat haymaker coming in from Hillisang. Won't be enough to save his life, but that's the one for one priority access to the mid lane. And now it looks like tier one tower as well. This is how they need to play the game. Look at Bolt. Abadagi needs to start pushing in these waves, hitting the tier two. He's stuck on the red buff, but Niski went a bit too far upwards. And Abadagi is looking for all of you on Niski here. He's a level down. Over it comes out, immediate cleanse, well played for now. Does get the dash forward, second dash now comes out as well. Second gold card comes in from Niski. Creeps, very friendly body block there coming through in the end. Abadagi, you have to wonder if one of those dashes... Think they... It's so hard for Shalka because they've got so many people they have to shut down. They have to shut down Upset, they have to shut down Selfmade, there's engage from Whippo. They actually have to kill Whippo thing. first. This engage comes in onto Abadaga. he has no cleanse. Very good, Blasco though gonna take my safety flash over the wall, now he's sleepy. Lucianol. Gonna knock Niski out of it. Selfmade now retreating as we see a fight on the top side of the map. Broken play trying to all in Whipple. Maybe he can get the 1v1, but that's a knockup now coming in. Whipple gonna dash to the safety, but he blocked by his own. No! The oh. leap into the tower! Are you kidding me? Gold TFT, baby! Whippo finding that in the end. I cannot believe it. Selfmade. Fight balance on the knife's edge, but now another one kicking off the mid lane. Gilius running for no the hills. He's gonna oh, use the ult. Time. Oh, oh, he mistimed it! Oh, he stands still. He knew he mistimed right. it. There you go. Now he's saying back on the way, and he's <laughs> also gonna go. All right. Well, as much as we praise Fnatic for not throwing anything away, they're getting a little bit ahead of himself. That's gonna be the three-man taunt. Good from Limit, but he has no follow-up here. Abadaga stepping forward. Gold card gonna finish the job. Upset looking in. He's one off. That's the S style rank. Spin, spin, spin. Oh, Inferno trigger. my name is Samira. I'm balanced. <laughs> <laughs> Triple kill for Upset. That was looking good for Shaka for a second there, and then. Well, uh, on this Baron, and try and get some control around it, and deny this this Ocean Soul points. Yeah, it's a tough situation though. Most certainly, Katrol. They're TPing in though. Niski wants to contest this dragon. They're 2v3, but Upset is moving oh, through no. mid. He's sitting on all of gold, so this fight could be somewhat even, but I think that Fnatic, Niski coming out of base, Hillisan getting a good position. I don't think they can take away the dragon, but they can take the fight. Torten they have not backed it. Can they steal it? No, Gilius is barely able to grab that one away. Now running for the hills is going to throw it out. They're going to be a little bit slower, but here comes Whippo from downtown. Call the Forge God, going to knock up two. Hillisan fishing for the follow up. Walking forward, the entire team here. Fnatic, an absolute death. Ball upset, S rank ready to go. He can ult at any moment, but they're gonna back off for now. Whipple body blocking is Fnatic retreat. Ocean Soul will be spared. Yeah, so Sharks tend to have really, really little wave clear. And you can see that on the champions, right? Lucian Jax, Lilia, there's really not much wave clear here. Only the Kaiser Q is the only thing you've got. So Fnatic are able to step up and start chunking the towers. But the ult comes out from Gilius. Back off, only managing to sleep one. Ooh, and very difficult. This, and this, the sad news is, if they were a little bit closer in this game, Fnatic don't necessarily have the best sieging potential. They have two short-range AD threats on this team, but Niski alone, with that gold card and the massive gold lead the Fnatic have built for themselves, are putting them in a position to just run through Shalka's base. Shalka not comfortable to force a fight on their own terms, on their own territory. And Fnatic now going in, looking to get things kicked off. Eyes on upset as he fishes for the reset. Broken Blade, that's disastrous because the Counter Strike is now down. And that is free reign for Fnatic to run through this fight. That's available for upset. He's going to start to spin. He's going to look for one. He can double rush through for another, but he's not going to go for the follow up. Playing it nice and slow. Broken Blade blocking the gold card. Fnatic backing off. Discipline like we have not seen yet. This two inhibitors, they're also at a 10k gold deficit. You're two minutes away from Drake, and Niski's teleporting into so most likely one-shot Gilius here. Gilius is going to run for the hills, though. Part about giving him that extra move speed. Oh, I think he's... Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> he timed it right this time. <laughs> this time he got it. Now he's standing Damn still it. saying he's got it this time. Give him the little heart. <laughs> All right, he's so I think that's three for four for self-made, which is a C, but we'll, but we'll take those on the uh, on we the We take those, kills. we take those. And Fnatic, even though the dragon's spawning in one minute, they're ignoring Broken Blade. They know that the only objective here is this top tower. So they're going to try and engage on it, try and the force them back from the tower to make sure they get this objective. Fishing, but going wide is going to find a single knockup, interrupted by Limit now as the entire team retreats. But oh no, the stun card lands, upset immediately there for the follow-up. Broken Blade going to try to fish through with the double rush back, now looking for the S tier. Now the spin, and that's it. Upset moving through as self-made finishes the job, and Fnatic, this should just be the slow, clean closeout here. A nice turn Ooh. to the end of their first week as they're looking to finish it out in style. The dunk back, the massive haymaker across the team. That's going to be Good three sleep. members sleep, though. There's no follow-up. There's no follow-up. 
Niski didn't get slapped. He still has the gold card. They can't do anything to walk forward, and that means Fnatic. Schalke just gonna have to watch as their base is torn to pieces. Fnatic and Schalke both gonna finish the week at one and two, but Fnatic will find a win in week one. Yeah, really clean game from Fnatic. I think there was only a couple mistakes here and there, but really good drafts, really good execution. I think Fnatic, I won't say they're back, but I think this game shows that the, there is potential and they're looking really good. And certainly refreshing to see a, a, a pace of play, which is not full steam ahead. Run into every fight, no questions asked. A nice adjustment from Fnatic on day three. And I think huge props to the carries, right? Upset had a